Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm reading Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradburn. The books lay like great mounds of fishes left to dry. The men danced and slipped and fell over them. Titles glittered, their golden eyes falling, gone. Kerosene, the men pu pumped the coal oil from the numeral tanks, the numeral 451 tanks strapped to their shoulders. They coated each book. They pumped rooms full of it. They hurried downstairs, Montag stretched staggering after them in the kerosene fumes. Come on, woman. The woman knelt among the, among the books, um, touching the leather and cardboard, reading the gilt titles with her fingers while her eyes accused Montag. You can't ever have my books, she said. You know the law, said Betty. Where's your common sense? None of these books agree with each other. You've been locked up for years with the regular down tower of Babylon. Snap out of it. The people in those books never lived. Come on now. She shook her head. The whole house is going up, said Betty. The woman, the men walked clumsily to the door. They glanced back at Montag, who stood near the woman. You're not leaving her here, he protested. She won't come. Force her then. Betty raised his hands in which he concealed the, the igniter. We are due back at the house. Besides, the fanatics always try suicide. The pattern's familiar. Montag placed his hands on the woman's elbow. You can come with me. No, she said. Thank you anyways. I'm counting to ten, said Betty. One, two. Please, said Montag. Go on, said the woman. Three, four. Here, Montag pulled at the woman. The woman replied, qu replied quietly. I want to stay here. Five, six. You can stop counting, she said. The fingers of one hand slightly, and in the palm was the hand of a single slender object. An ordinary kitchen match.